In the next three minutes, you'll master the seven essential exponent rules that shows up everywhere in math. Let's dive in. Our rule number one is product rule and it says when you multiply the numbers with the same base, just add the exponents. Let's see why. So we can write down 2 raised to power 3 like this and 2 raised to power 4 like this. And when we combine these three twos with these four twos, it gives us seven twos. So same base, different powers, add those powers. Rule number two is quotient rule and it says when you divide the numbers with the same base, just subtract the exponents. Let's see how. So when we can write down 5 raised to power 6 like this, divided by 5 raised to power 2, we can cancel out these two 5s from the numerator and the denominator and it leaves us with 4 5s, which gives us the answer 5 raised to power 4. Next rule is power rule, which says when you raise the power to another power, multiply the exponent. It means we are taking 3 raised to power 2 as our base and multiplying it 4 times. And now since raise 3 raised to power 2 already has 2 3's and you are doing that 4 times, you end up with 2 times 4 which equals 8. Our next rule is zero exponent rule and it says any number raised to the power of zero always equals one. So seven raised to power zero is one, minus five raised to power zero is one, 10,000 raised to power zero is also one. Next rule is negative exponent rule, which says when you see a negative exponent, move that number to the opposite side of the fraction line and make the exponent positive. So here, we're gonna move 4 raised to power negative 2 to the opposite side and it becomes 1 upon 4 raised to power 2 and 1 upon 16 when we calculate it further. Next rule is power of a product rule which says when the power is applied to numbers being multiplied, give that power to each number. So in this case, it'll become 2 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 4 and 16 times 81 when we calculate it further. Next rule is power of a quotient rule which says when a power is applied to division, give that power to both the numerator and denominator. So in this case, it will become 6 raised to power 3 and 2 raised to power 3 which will give us 216 at the numerator and 8 at the denominator 